Alright you bastards this is some Belgian prepper and today we're going to do a quick survival hack so this is a short video but before that if you're interested in the detective stories this is the first part of an 11 part series look in the description down below for further information so um, this survival hack is just actually an improvised tourniquet imagine you're on a bug out and you come into an abandoned hospital or you're inside of somebody's uh, or just on an everyday you're inside of somebody's home and somebody has an, has an accident is cut is something open it's a severe bleeding if it's perhaps even an artery bleeding that needs a tourniquet and you cannot still uh, stop the bleeding by putting pressure on it or you want just want to be sure uh, some people uh, old folks hospitals or people who have a medical background will usually have uh, a pressure meter uh, yeah, just a pressure meter. This could be uh, actually life-saving if you impro can improvise this as a tourniquet. Imagine you have a severe bleeding, uh, uh, almost even perhaps amputate, uh, an amp almost an amputated limb, a big gush. You can take one of these, put it on the place. You can also do this on the leg. And then just... You start... Just like a regular, uh, how do you say this, uh, tourniquet, you can start to apply uh, pressure till you cannot feel anything. But beware, this thing will run empty. So what you do is you take something that will uh, will cut the uh, the tube that will lead to the pressure. From the moment it starts uh, stops bleeding, uh, you can make a knot in it, or you can take. Uh, one of those sur surgical uh, clamps or uh, how do you say this in English one of the your multi-tool and you start to uh, twist it together so no air can escape uh, anymore from this and that way it will stay uh, putting pressure on the artery that it will stop uh, bleeding but be aware from if you put an, uh, a tourniquet on it put um, something on the person with a pencil, uh, a ball pen, uh, ink, something with ink or even paint, whatever it is, charcoal, put it on their forehead, uh, a T, uh, with the time that you applied the tourniquet. That way, when you get to medical, professional medical help, the surgeons will know when, when the tourniquet has been applied. This could be very life-saving, not only for the limb, but just the person in general. And yeah, like I said before, uh, as you can see, I can almost feel nothing here, so I should even put more pressure on it to get a, a fully shut down to the limb that is uh, bleeding. And you have to watch out that you put, do not put this on the front where the other red, where the arteries usually uh, run. So yeah, I will let it release it now because my hand starts to feel numb right now. So yeah, that was just a quick video. This is just a quick video on on an improvised way to use a pressure meter as an improvised tour tourniquet. So yeah, I would say it's just uh, a simple as just a small simple hack that could live save a life in an emergency situation. So subscribe, uh, give a comment about these techniques. If you know any other improvised tourniquet techniques, let it know in the comments. Uh, if you look into the description for uh, my detective's uh, novel uh, series. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.